This is a steam distillation of lavender under vacuum. Just wanted to kind of show the do it yourself home version. Steam distillation. Here's my ice trap. Here's my vacuum pump. I'm currently running just shy of 0 0.08 MPA, which is allowing water to boil at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, boiling at 64, but I got it up to 66 just to make sure that it's it's brisk. This is a one-liter heating mantle with a magnetic stirrer. This is a one-liter boiling flask. Two necks, so that way I can have my thermometer adapter in there. Okay. Temperature of the solvent boiling out, and most of my lab set uses 2440 joints. Keeping most of them consistent makes it where they're all compatible and it's a lot cheaper in the end and this is the most common size and then of course the kick clips um, just those just uh, help make sure that they stay sealed it's not a you know an all or nothing thing though. you can still pull them apart but it does help and this is a two liter pie mask flask or a little flask uh, that's where I've got my lavender buds at. Um, I bought a 6050 uh, neck on this one because it makes it up much, much easier to get the material in and out compared to a 2440. So, in, in this one instance, this is where I, I don't use the 2440 and I did opt in for a much larger. This is the largest I could find, and even these are rare, but um. I got lucky, uh, but yeah, I did get a, an adapter back to the 2440. Uh, normally, you would have a thermometer up top if you were trying to gauge um, the temperature at, at what it's condensing at. We had the tip of it here, but in this instance, being that I'm under vacuum and I'm only doing distillation, and I'm already doing low temperature distillation of that, I'm not too concerned with it, so I wanted to make sure my seal was a little better. Um, this is what they call a Liebig condenser. It's basically a, uh, a glass tube surrounded by another glass tube encompassed in water, which basically just turns that steam, condenses it back into water, drains down into this is what a oil separator. You see here, I've got a little stop. They call it stopcock, but um, it allows me to open and close. And uh, being that the essential oil is less dense than the water beneath it, it uh, it floats on top. So when you open this up, you can put all the hydrosol out first, and then switch out your receiving flask and catch that last little bit of oil so uh, that would be my lavender oil and then all the hydrosol collected and then here this will be hydrosol as well it's just catching any remnants of vapors that didn't condense and 
basically it's the same concept. The, the vapors come over there in the middle. There's ice water which helps the uh, that small bit of vapor condense again and then drops down into the receiving glass. So, and uh, that's about it. Uh, this is just a circulating water vacuum pump, as it says. Um, it's not a really high power form, but it's, it does the job as efficient. It could also work as a, a uh, water pump if I wanted to, if I had the, the tubes. They come on the other side, so you can actually run a uh, one of the condensers off of this as well. But I choose not to; it's just easier for me to do it this way. But uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to go over, uh, you know, the basics, what each piece was, what it does, and um, kind of demonstrate the process a little bit. I know this might help some people out they're uh, just starting out I know it took me a lot of different uh, videos to to kind of formulate you know what pieces I needed and what was you know what was the right one on uh, here I didn't show this but this is just a, a cooler converted uh, into a water pump as you can see I, I got ice water in there that keeps the ice water running through the jacket of the Libic condenser so but uh but yeah that's pretty much it so right, good luck guys and uh see you next time